me at a young age, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this, this may be a new term for the present generation, but I was taught things like, if you want something from somebody, you don't say, give it to me. You say, may I have it, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. If someone is talking, you don't just butt into the conversation. But you say, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you step on someone's foot, you don't just keep walking. But you say, excuse me, please. Yeah, yeah. If somebody gives you something, you don't just receive it, walk away, and act like you owe them something. The proper response you are supposed to say is, thank you. Hallelujah. I'm glad that I had a mother, I have a mother that understands if you train up a child in the manner and the way that you should go, when they are, old, they are old, they shall not depart from that way of that. But it's because of the training that I had as a child that I expect other people to have that same kind of respect. I need you to know that it ticks me off when I go to an establishment. I walk up and down the aisle, find something that suits me, and take it to the counter. Give them my hard-earned money. And the worker doesn't say a monthly word. I don't know about you, but that makes me upset. It ticks me off when I'm driving into a store or a gas station and I see someone trying to get in the driveway or parking lot before me, and instead of acting like I don't see them, I and let them go ahead of me. Then they don't do nothing. They don't weep. They don't laugh. They don't nod their head. They just go ahead and don't even say thank you. That makes me upset. But I, I thought about that thing and I said, if I am disturbed Come on. when people don't say thank you to me, and if I am bothered when people are rude towards me, and if
letters. Uh -huh. The Bible said, in verse 13, and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. That may not mean anything to you, but you have to understand that these were ten letters. Now of them the Jews, and one of them was a Samaritan. This also may not mean anything to you, but you must understand that ordinarily, Jews and Samaritans had no dealings with one another. Jews don't like Samaritans, and Samaritans don't care for the Jews. But you have to understand that when you are in a foxhole, hallelujah, a foxhole has a way of doing a way with the artificial barriers and superficial distinctions. You have to understand when you are down and out, it really doesn't matter where you come from, but we are all in need of the same thing. Before I 
Ezekiel. This was another Ezekiel. As a matter of fact, the law at that time said if you had leprosy, you had to stand at least 50 feet away from the nearest person that didn't have the disease. See, in verse number 12, it says, and as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers. And here's the evidence. Which stood afar off. That's what the word says. Which stood afar off. So when they lifted up their voices, they had the yay. Jesus, have mercy on us. You must understand that when Jesus heard them, he stopped, turned around, and saw them. Don't you see how messed up uh -huh. I am? Don't you see how 
I had made up in my mind. It really doesn't matter. If God said it, I believe. And that settles it. I know your credit might be jacked up. But if God said it, go and fill out that mortgage application. Then make your way to the bank. I know you don't have no money. But if God tells you, he going to give you a car. You pick up a broom and start sweeping your driveway. Yeah. Hallelujah. I know you don't uh, uh, think you don't look good, but if God said a man is going to find you and ask you to marry him, you go down to the store and pick up your way dress. But 